Imagine coming home and you find your wife Sylvia copping off with one of the mannequins. And when you confront her, she doesn't care. She has to go. Maybe it's my Cornish blood. Maybe I'm silly. But I just can't put up with having a dummy fiddler in the house. So unfortunately, Seal just gonna have to go. So in this video, I'll show you how to divorce your wife or spouse and marry any NPC you wish to in the game. Okay, to divorce your wife, you hit the till key, then you type remove fac space 51596, enter, then type player, full stop, remove fac, cap space, capital C, 6472, enter, then type reset quest space 74793, enter, then type reset quest 21382, enter, then type set stage 74793 space 10. Walk away, equip the amulet Amara and then speak to your wife again or ex-wife and you're getting the interested uh, dialogue. So you're now divorced and free to marry again. Now, to marry any NPC, you'll need the following mods and they apply to consoles and PC. This mod can be found on Bethesda's own mod site or it can be found on Nexus. Um, I'll leave the link to the Bethesda um, site day, below in the well. description and you can find it on Nexus if that's the way you wish to do it. Okay, so all you need now is an amulet of Mara and an NPC that you're particularly interested in. Um, obviously, if it's one that's already marriageable, you don't have to go through this whole process. But if it's not, then you do. Um, now, I'm going to do several uh, NPCs I was quite interested in. And one of them is uh, Idgrod the Younger at Morthal. So we'll pop over to Morthful and um, see if we can find her and see if she shall succumb to our charms. Okay, so we just have to hunt around and find her. Uh, come on, you grod. She's definitely one of the prettiest NPCs in the game. That's for that, without a doubt. Oh, there she is. Here's my beloved. Good to see you. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. Interested in me, are you? Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? Yes, yes, I am. Grief as life can be in Skyrim. At least we'll have each other. I wish real life was this easy. <laughs> okay, so what we got to do now is nip over to the Temple of Mara in Riften and organise the marriage. Okay, so we fast forward over there. I've already done a video on how to get married, but uh, I'll include it in here as well. Um, and I've not only uh, married Igrod, I've married quite a few, and I'm going to show you a couple of issues that you may have. Um, anyway, so we leg it up to the temple. Your wedding will be held tomorrow. And we speak to Maramel about getting married, and he's overjoyed as usual. So we go outside, we put on our best wedding frock and uh, we wait till morning. And then we go in, we attend our wedding ceremony. Ah, here's the blushing bride now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation. But imagine our surprise when Idgrod isn't there. It is from her love of us that we first Which is really weird. He's doing a ceremony as if she is here. So what we've got to do is reload and um, go again. But here I thought I'd just do this to see what happens. As you see, it didn't go down too well. <laughs> so be warned guys anyway just uh, reload and we go back and find her again do it again okay second time's a charm here's my beautiful wife waiting for me 
first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. I'll just show you some of the dialogue so you can see exactly the same. I'm guessing she uses the same VA as Sylvia because her dialogue's exactly the same. Um, so I'll just cut through to the bits where it shows that the dialogue is working as intended. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you so that works. Now we're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always stay with me. Oh, but you have children, don't you? We'll so you know that works as well. Them. So the dialogue's working pretty good. And I'll go back to, uh, uh, well, to us and to live in my house in Falkreath. So I'll go back now and see how the dialogue work, dialogue works uh, back in the home. And here she is at home. Love. Back from some adventure, I bet. <laughs> yes, my love. What do you need? Okay. Would you mind cooking you something for me? Fresh. And she cooks you a meal. So the whole dialogue things work. And I even changed the clothes she's wearing. So the whole mechanic works fine. So this mod really is absolutely excellent. So all credit to the uh, mod maker. You can do it through console commands if you want to. But hey, this makes it so much easier. Okay, now I married a few more just to make uh, sure. And uh, I'll show you these people. One of my favourite uh, NPCs in uh, Skyrim, Vivian uh, Onis from um, Solitude. And she just reminds me of an ex-girlfriend. So, uh, yeah, she's absolutely super. So I married her. No problems again. And uh, I also tried Carlotta from uh, White Run. Um, so, and again, all of them work fine. I actually did try a few NPCs as well that you are eligible to marry. Jordis from um, Solitude, and she worked fine. I also married um, Mjol. Um, now, she's a steward in one of my half fire homes, and she kept on going back to the half fire home, so that didn't work. So, that's an issue. That's nothing to do with this mod. I think that's just uh, a marriage mechanic in the game. So at the moment I'm still uh, married to Carlotta, but I've got to decide who I want to uh, choose permanently out of Igrod, Vivienne or Carlotta. But all in all, that's it. Fantastic mod. You can change your wife or your husband as you see fit. Enjoy guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.